Giant jellyfish gardens, how lions main build homes. The lion's main jellyfish, Cyania capillata, truly earns its name. It's a colossal being of the ocean. Many are awestruck by their sheer size, often spanning over 30 feet in diameter and weighing hundreds of pounds. But beyond that impressive scale lies something even more remarkable. These jellyfish actively create miniature ecosystems within their own tentacles. Tiny shrimp, larval fish, and other small invertebrates find refuge amongst the stinging nematocysts, forming a symbiotic relationship with the giant jellyfish. It's an astonishing example of how even seemingly simple creatures can engineer complex habitats, offering shelter and sustenance to a surprising diversity of life. Stick around. You're about to learn something wild. But first, tap like and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next mind-blowing fact. These aren't just passive structures they are living breathing micro-worlds carried along by the ocean currents. Most jellyfish are known for their graceful, passive drifting through the water column. But the lion's mane is a fascinating exception to that rule. These incredible creatures often exhibit a surprising behavior. They anchor themselves to the seafloor using their exceptionally long tentacles. This isn't just a temporary resting spot, it allows them to stay in one place and actively hunt for prey. Scientists are now observing these anchored jellyfish creating unique ecosystems around them, areas teeming with life that rely on the lion's mane, which researchers have affectionately termed jellyfish gardens. It's truly a remarkable example of how even seemingly simple creatures can shape their environment. What looks like a vibrant underwater garden clinging to this lion's main jellyfish isn't actually composed of plants at all. It's an intricate and fascinating ecosystem built by tiny creatures called bryozoans, often nicknamed moss animals and hydroids. These organisms are incredibly small, almost microscopic individually, but together they form these complex structures that appear to be growing directly on the jellyfish's tentacles. The tentacles themselves provide a perfect substrate. They're naturally sticky, allowing these miniature architects to firmly attach and build their colonies. It's an incredible example of symbiotic relationships in action, a mobile host providing shelter and sustenance for a community of tiny builders. The lion's mane isn't just a massive predator, it's also an incredibly important ecosystem in itself. Its enormous bell and trailing tentacles create a stable, nutrient, rich platform for countless smaller creatures to call home. Imagine a floating island teeming with life. This provides shelter from currents and predators for tiny organisms like bryozoans and hydroids. Remark, the jellyfish feeding process actually benefits these hitchhikers waste products released during digestion become a valuable food source for them. It's a beautiful example of symbiosis in action. The lion's mane provides, and its residents thrive. This incredible relationship extends both ways, and it's fascinating to see how these creatures have evolved together. The algae, barnacles, and even small shrimp that colonize the lion's mane aren't just hitching a ride, they actively provide protection for their host. Imagine a tiny school of fish or a swarm of crustaceans attempting to nibble on this massive jellyfish, it's a tempting meal. However, the sheer density of organisms covering the lions, main creates a confusing and often impenetrable barrier. 
These attached creatures disrupt predator attacks, making it much more difficult for those smaller animals to reach the jellyfish's delicate tissues. It's a beautiful example of mutualism in action. Both species benefit from this unique partnership. The number of tiny creatures living on and inside a lion's mane jellyfish isn't fixed. It really changes quite a bit. It depends heavily on what's happening in the surrounding water. Pristine waters might support fewer hitchhikers compared to areas rich in nutrients where a whole bustling ecosystem can develop within the jellyfish itself. And just like any living thing, age and size matter too. A young, smaller lion's mane will have a relatively simple community of organisms attached. But as it grows larger, its surface area expands dramatically, creating more space for diverse life to take hold. We're talking everything from algae and barnacles to tiny crustaceans and larval fish. The lion's mane isn't just a home to bryozoans and hydroids, it supports an even wider community of tiny creatures. You'll frequently find small shrimp and amphipods nestled within the jellyfish's tentacles and bell. These little crustaceans feed on microscopic organisms that thrive in the jellyfish shadow, creating a truly remarkable miniature ecosystem. It's like a bustling underwater city, completely dependent on this giant, gelatinous host for shelter and sustenance. The sheer density of life contained within a single lion's mane can be astonishing a testament to its role as a vital habitat. This fascinating gardening behavior actually represents a remarkable evolutionary strategy for the lion's mane jellyfish. Scientists hypothesize that it developed over generations to dramatically improve their feeding efficiency. Think of it as creating a miniature ecosystem right on its tentacles. The algae barnacles and other small organisms that colonize the jellyfish dunt just hitch a ride they actively contribute to the lion's mane's survival. These attached creatures essentially act like living bait, attracting smaller fish, crustaceans, and larvae, all of which become easy meals for our giant jellyfish. The intricate architecture of these jellyfish gardens isn't just beautiful, it's also surprisingly functional. The way the tentacles intertwine and arrange themselves creates a unique flow pattern in the water around the jellyfish. This altered hydrodynamic environment actually helps to reduce drag, essentially making it easier for the lion's mane to move through the ocean. Considering how massive these creatures can be, conserving energy during movement is absolutely vital. It allows them to cover vast distances while foraging and avoiding predators. It's truly remarkable to consider that these massive lions, main jellyfish, errant, just drifting passively through the water, they are actively creating and maintaining miniature ecosystems right on their bells. These jellyfish provide a physical structure, a living raft, if you will, for a diverse community of tiny creatures, shrimp, amphipods, small fish larvae, even other types of invertebrates all find shelter and sustenance within the tentacles and oral arms. This isn't a random occurrence, it's a symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit. The jellyfish gains some protection from predators as these smaller animals create a living shield, while they also receive nutrients from the detritus and waste produced by their garden inhabitants, essentially getting a free cleaning service and a bit of extra food. 
Observing this delicate balance underscores how interconnected life is, even in seemingly barren ocean environments. It reveals that what we might perceive as simple organisms are actually hosting complex relationships, contributing to a larger web of marine biodiversity.